Hey everybody, now in this lecture I'm going to give you an introduction to trading and investing in cryptocurrencies. So we're going to be looking at where cryptocurrencies are going in the future and that's what we're going to look at first and then we're going to look at the different types, the different options that you have to trade and invest in cryptocurrencies, all of which I'm going to be teaching you in this course. All right, so where are cryptocurrencies going in the future? Now, of course, there are never any guarantees with anything, but currently cryptocurrencies are in their infancy. However, they're not so new as to make them something that's just going to come and go, you know, like a, a flash in the pan, but they are still in their infancy. And here's why. At the moment, less than 0.1% of the population even know what a cryptocurrency is. Now, it's predicted that in around three to five years time, that will be 1% of the population. And in 10 years time, it'll be 10% of the population. So you can see how this is predicted to grow as far as the awareness of cryptocurrencies is concerned and the number of people who will be involved in getting involved. Now, market capitalization, this just means the amount of money that's in the market, in the cryptocurrency market. At the time of making this video, it's almost $129 billion, predicted to be $6 trillion by 2020. So you can see now, begin to see how cryptocurrency is still very much in its infancy. And of course, that makes this a very good time to be getting involved. Let's take a look at some predictions by top analysts. We have some analysts predicting that Bitcoin which is the main cryptocurrency, that one Bitcoin will be worth $100,000 within 10 years. And right now, again, at the time of making this video, one Bitcoin is worth around $3,700. But let's take a look at some quotes from a Bloomberg report that was published on August 21st of this year, 2017. Now this quote here, the consensus is that the biggest cryptocurrency, which is Bitcoin, will face some resistance around the 4,500 to 4,800 mark and then correct. That's exactly what happened. So when this report was made, this hadn't happened, but since then it has. So that prediction has been correct. Now we've also got others predicting here that it's going to go to 6,000 by the end of this year and predictions that it's going to go to 7,500 in 2018. Now we have other analysts predicting that it will hit 10,000 in 2018. So one Bitcoin will be equivalent to $10,000. And for the more longer term prognosis, we have predictions by analysts that it will reach 25,000 US dollars for one Bitcoin in 2022. And others predicting that it will reach 50,000 by 2027. Now that is 10 years from now. So we have some analysts predicting it will be even higher than that. It will reach $100,000 for one Bitcoin at that time. And some predicting it will reach 50,000. But there are around 10 million users in the cryptocurrency market at this time. And that's predicted to grow to 100 million. So predicted to 10 times within a couple of years. So that's a huge increase in users and that will fuel the increase in price and value of cryptocurrency. Now let's take a look at some of the options you have for trading and investing in cryptocurrency. Now the first option is to buy and hold. Now buy and hold simply means that you are buying and investing for the long term. This type of trading carries the lowest risk and it doesn't take up much time at all. In fact, even if you are so busy that you only have a half an hour, 30 minutes every week to spare, you could do this. 30 minutes every month and you could do this. Now, the obviously the downsides here are that there are no fast gains. You're not looking for any quick gains. You are investing for the future. So perhaps a year down the line, two years down the line, maybe five, maybe even 10 years down the line. So there are no fast gains with buying and holding, but it does have the advantage of being the lowest risk and taking up virtually no time at all. Now, when you buy and hold, there are two ways to do this. 
And one way is to take no notice at all of what the price is right now and just buy anyway. And the other way, which is a much smarter way, and you're going to learn in this course, is to look for an optimum buying point to maximize your returns. Now the next option is day trading, but it's more of a longer term day trading. This is where you take medium term trades. So you could be in a trade anything from a, a few days to a few weeks, or perhaps even two or three months. Although that would be more of the exception. Normally it will be anything from a week to a few weeks. Now this type of trading is reasonably low risk. It does take up some time, but not a lot of time. So providing you have maybe two hours a week, two or three hours a week, then you would be able to have enough time for this type of trading. Now the third option is shorter term day trading. This is where you can take very short term trades and often you will be in the trade for no more than a few hours, even less, even less than an hour sometimes. And this type of trading is the riskiest type of trading. This is your riskiest option. Saying that, the upside is that you can make very fast short term gains. It does take longer to master this type of trading. And again, I will stress, it is riskier. As well as that, it's more time consuming because when you are short term day trading, you are trading most days. I mean, you may take days off, obviously, but you will certainly be trading most days Monday to Friday and you would set aside a certain time each day, whether that would be eight in the morning till midday or midday till four in the afternoon or four in the afternoon till eight at night, whatever suits you. But you will be setting aside a certain time, usually the same time, more or less every day, at least Monday to Friday anyway. But the good news is that the cryptocurrency markets are open 24 seven. So unlike the stock market, for example, which is only open during business hours, the cryptocurrency markets are open 24 hours a day, seven days a week. So in fact, with the shorter term day trading, if you had a job Monday to Friday, you had the weekends off, perhaps you might just decide to day trade two days a week, Saturday and Sunday, in the mornings or the afternoons or the evenings, or perhaps it would even suit you to trade during the night. So that is one of the huge advantages of the cryptocurrency markets. They are open 24 seven. Okay, I'll see you in a minute in the next lecture.